Gavin with WSI and today in this video we're going to do a short introduction about our dual RAM BOP options. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to talk about what comes standard um, if you just call the factory and order one how they're what the standard built up is and what you're going to get regardless. These three light blue colored are 5k this is a uh, or I should say 5M and this is a 10M BOP and we'll talk about this one on its own because there's a few things that are a little bit different with that. So on our uh, dual RAM 5K options, they come standard with three ports so you can test each section of the BOP. You've got two half inch ports on top and then one one inch port in the bottom. The other thing we do is they're, they're threaded on top standard two and seven eighths and then on our outlets we go ahead and instead of making two different style BOPs because some folks like side studded outlets, some folks want line pipe outlets and so we offer that on one BOP and so these come with studs and so if you want to stud up a companion flange here you can it's a 2 and 16th is the standard size but we can make that an inch and 13 16 we've done that for customers that's not a problem um, and they're also threaded 2 inch line pipe outlet so you've got a 2 and 9 16 standard flange here you got a 2 and a 16 standard flange here and a 2 and 9 16 standard flange here and those are all 5M connections. So that's how the, the, the standard hookup, if you just call them from the factory, will be. But we can, make, we can have some variations in some of these sizes. Um, if you have that need, you just need to let us know and we can figure those, those needs out and, and build you some BOPs according to that. So this is a 2 and 9 16 5M base dual RAM BOP. So you're going to have to have some type of a companion flange under this BOP on top of your tubing spool. So most people run these on a, uh, you know, a, a, this would be on a 5M B, uh, uh, 5M B2 flange. And so you would drop this down on that, and then that B2 flange would be sitting on top of your tubing spool. Um, we do see customers out there run these on B1 flanges. It's not best practice, and we don't recommend that. You're putting a lot of weight on top of that, that pin for that B1 flange, but some folks do do it. They... Uh, feel like they got to get a BOP out in the field in a hurry and they've got a B1 flange sitting there um, and so they'll drop this on top of it. You're, you got a lot of weight sitting on that pin and it can create stress fractures and, and leak paths so it's not best practice. If you're going to run these we suggest you know running a, 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 a B2 flange with it. These two down here this is a 7 and 16th 5 M base so you would take this BOP and the nice thing about this is it completely eliminates that companion flange. So you drop this right on. If you've got a 7 and a 16th 5 in tubing spool looking up at you out there on location, you take this BOP, you drop it right down, and you're good to go. And this is a 7 and a 16th 10M. So the base is a 10M flange, but everything else on the BOP is 5. So it's got a, five, it's got a 10M rated base, but the actual working function of the BOP is, is, BOP is rated to 5M. And all these other flange connections, your 2 and a 16th, and your 2 and 9 16 companion flange on top is all five. But these also come both side studded and with two inch line pipes drilled right in there so you can run either connection that you want. Um, so like I said, the nice thing about these is you're eliminating that companion flange. You're shrinking that overall height of your wellhead. You're allowing your unit to stroke a little bit more. Um, and that's always an issue for folks is how much height do I have and how tall everything is. So with these, you're eliminating several inches and you're dropping that right down on your spool. So these are an excellent option for folks. This is our 10M. So this whole BOP, every connection on here is rated to 10, to, is rated to 10,000 PSI. Um, both the 2 and 9 16 flange on top and bottom and the uh, 2 and 16 flanges on the side. These are all 10K flanges. You cannot get this in line pipe outlet. So this has to be a side set of connection. We don't offer this in a 10K with line pipe threads here in your outlets. You can get these as inch and 13 sixteenths. We've made those for folks as well. Um, and so there are options on the outlets and the companion flange sides. You just have to let us know what your needs are and we can see, and usually we can accommodate that and, and figure out some way to make it work. Now on your bottom connections for these dual RAM BOPs, uh, if you got a two and nine sixteenth base like these two have, um, you pretty much have to use some type of a companion flange and there are no threads in the bottom of these BOPs. With these two, however, they come standard with two and seven eighths threads in the bottom. But if you need something different, we can do that. But that's the standard way they're going to ship from the factory. Um, the other thing we can do is if you're running an extended neck hanger, 
we can machine the pocket out for that so your extended neck hanger hangs up and you've got your your spot for that to seal inside there as well but we have to know what the profile of the hanger is that you run as there's not just one you know different manufacturers have their different profiles of those and so we just have to know what you're running so we can machine that pocket to that profile um, not an issue at all so like I said the nice thing about this is you can thread your tubing right into the bottom you can use an extended neck hanger or if you're using just a wrap around that doesn't stick up that's fine these will still just drop right down on your tubing spools and you nipple up and you go and it's just a lot faster you've got less connections less leak pass less need for ring gaskets you drop it one time nipple it up one time then you go so um, you got some ram options over here for these BOPs the standard configuration on rams is going to be two polish rod specific specific rams in each BOP and usually that's inch and a half, but we have all sizes available. You, but you'll you'll tell us that when you order the BOP. Um, but uh, if you need inch and three quarter, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, we can do that. Not a problem. But it's going to come standard with two polish side specific. If you want a set of blind rams, and some folks do that, they run polish rod in the bottom set and a set of blind rams in the top. You can do that. You just have to specify that that's how you want it because it's going to be built up, like I just said polish rod specific size rams in it. The other thing we have on rams is we have our snap lock, um, which has a nipple and a seat in it. And so there's a nipple on this ram seal and there's a, a seat machined into the ram. Um, and we have a molded ram. So we're, the ram seal is molded into this entire ram. Either one of these options are available. You just have to specify if you want molded rams or snap locks. They both perform extremely well. But we had customers that wanted some options and so we we made that form and gave them some options to choose. Um, with the snap lock you can replace just the ram seal. Um, that's a that's the replaceable product. With the, with the molded ram uh, when this ram over time wears and it needs to be replaced you have to replace the whole ram. So that's something to think about as well. And I have had, have had some customers that will run a mixture of both uh, molded in the bottom, snap lock in top, or vice versa. You really have plenty of options. If you're not kind of curious about what you'd like to do on that, let us know, and we're happy to work with you on on what we think would be some 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 good options for you to work with. So we've got options on that available. We also make um, some BOP rams that um, fit in BOPs that we have, and they also fit in competitors' BOPs. Um, so if you run into inventory issues with another BOP you have out there, somebody can't seem to get maybe some BOP rams for it. There's a good chance we have a, a BOP RAM option that will fit even in, in BOPs that, that aren't ours. So feel free to reach out to us for information on that. And we can let you know if we've got something that can help get you out of a bind or not because we do carry some other RAMs for other manufacturers' products. So the other thing we do is each one of these BOPs will come out with this little packet right here. Um, and this is a chart recorder. And it shows uh, the BOP. And one way you differentiate that, we shot in a video where we showed how each one of these BOPs has a serial number on it, and this chart recorder has the corresponding serial number to that BOP with it. It shows where we pressure tested it in the factory, um, and these are full-on tests with the rams in there shut in on a polish rod. It's not just a shell test. So you're at, we're actually testing them with the rams against a polish rod, and it shows each section that was tested. It shows the duration of the test. That goes out with every single BOP. The other thing in here is a warranty card. This also has the corresponding BOP's serial number on it. Um, so if you have any issues with the RAM seals or the BOP itself for the first year, you just let us know and we'll take care of it for you. This, this can be sent in to us at the factory. You can also fill this out on the website. I would suggest the website. It takes just a second. And that year date is from when you get it and it goes into the field. So it doesn't matter if it's set on the supply store or the pump shop's shelf for six months. It's from when you, the end user, takes possession of it and puts it out in the field and location. So a couple options we do that nobody else is offering. Um, these also are also 100% domestic. Every single one of these are made right here in Hill City, Kansas, um, in the factory here. So that's something else we're doing. And I believe we are the only domestic manufacturer of 5K rod BOPs. Everybody else is either bringing that in or they're buying it and reselling it from, from somebody else. So um, we have a refurbish and a research program. So if as times like this right now, maybe you're watching this video two years from now and we'll look back at 
you know, April and May of 2020 and I'll be able to laugh. But right now, um, we do offer a refurbish and a research program. So if, uh, if you've got some of these rod BOPs used out in the field and you want them refurbished, um, we can do that for you. And they, they come in, they get rebuilt, um, they get repainted, they get repressure tested, recertified, they go back out in the field. We can do those at the factory here in Hill City, Kansas. And we also have some field locations um, throughout the country where we have options to have that done too. So just another option for you um, to think about. That pretty much sums up uh, our offerings on our dual RAM BOPs. So like us, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. There'll be a link at the end of this video, which will tell you how to reach out to us at WSI if you're interested in future trainings or the rest of our product line. And give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. So work smart, stay safe, make your connection at WSI.